In this video, it is a solo camping road trip in Giselle, my 1986 Citroen GSA. Uh, we filmed some very interesting content this week with this car, which I've been wanting to do for two years. You, can, you may be able to work out what that is. But uh, while she's out, we're also going to go to Radwood, a celebration of 80s and 90s motoring and lifestyle, uh, which is being held at Bista Heritage, many miles away. So let's go. Well, unfortunately, I've left the... Um, Oh. I've left the camera mount at home, so I'm going to have to um, go mobile style. A bit old school vlog, really. But that's no issue. But yeah, back in Giselle, it's good to be back. Giselle hasn't been out since June until last week. And we took her straight out and uh, she actually went into um, sort of daily duty. Parked up Bella de Bolingo. Can't drive Betty because of fuel economy. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, fun times. Bit of a different driving experience to Bella de Bolingo and Betty for that matter. Betty being my 2001 Ford Fairmont from Australia. So yeah, it's really good to be back in Giselle again. Uh, I'm sorry the sound's a bit rubbish, it always is when I'm recording direct to phone. I haven't got a decent mic with me, I'm afraid, I don't think. I may check my bag later, we'll make if we can improve matters. Yeah, I kind of miss Giselle. You have to give her all of the revs, all of them. And that's one of the more enjoyable things about driving her. But uh, yeah, it's um, good to be back. So uh, we've got a couple of hundred miles to do. Uh, we've got to get over the other side of Oxford, effectively. I think we're going up to Birmingham and then curving down. That's our route today. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to be out in this car again. A bit later, I will share my camping setup because uh, I've got a bit low tech compared to our exploits in Bob. Giselle doesn't have a tow bar, but she's the only 80s, 90s car I've got which actually works at the moment. Uh, so uh, Giselle it is which means leaving Miss Hubnut and the Hubmuts at home. Hublets are still away, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a bit of a different event. Um, Haggerty UK uh, are involved with this one, but Radwood is an American concept, I believe, and that's where its main home is. And it's just this celebration of 80s and 90s motoring. Not, not like Festival of the Unexceptional, where it's only the really ordinary. This, is anything goes 80s or 90s so it should be quite the event uh, there will have been a separate video about the event uh, this video is just about me getting there and uh, my experience is camping on my own so uh, yeah but further ado we shall push on a long way to go yeah with my phone in its current mount that's about as good a view as i can give you sorry uh, it's not great is it we're on the a44 there's quite a lot of traffic today. It's changeover day, so tourists coming in, tourists going home again. So a fun fact is that I reckon I've done about 12,000 miles since buying Giselle in March 2020, which um, sounds quite impressive, but that's about the same as Betty's done in a year. So uh, Betty, apparently, I like driving more than Giselle. And uh, I think there's probably a reason for that. Um, Giselle often, oh, I just have a love-hate relationship with this car, sometimes she just doesn't want to play ball. It can be hugely frustrating to drive. Uh, seems to be going well today so far, but we've still got quite a long way to go. We're uh, into England now, uh, but I think we've still got about 110 miles to go. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's an absolute joy. The, the, the wind noise is quite bad, it improves if I shut the window a bit. But uh, I've got to keep windows open to get the ventilation through. And uh, it's, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's lovely ventilation. The face level vents, hell, there, right? But uh, it, it is rather warm. And a black car, not very good when it's hot. Thankfully, it's not heat wave hot. We're probably talking sort of low 20s degrees centigrade. So, whereas the heat wave has been, you know, pushing over 30. So, uh, yeah, it's quite pleasant travelling quite a long way to go. Items I've forgotten so far and have had to purchase at a supermarket include uh, a 
data cable this charge this phone is currently charging from because Giselle's 12 volt power out that doesn't work and uh, a towel now I've had to buy myself a pink towel because uh, they only seem to have pink fine with me I'm comfortable with who I am I don't mind a pink towel and uh, yeah stupid to forget that but there we go also forgot a drinking receptacle but just buying a bottle of water means that I now have a drinking receptacle that I can reuse. I haven't bothered bringing food or anything like that. Really simple camping. Go grab some dinner. Possibly before we get to site because time's dragging on a bit. And then uh, we'll be off first thing in the morning anyway and probably grab breakfast at the event or along the way. We shall see. So it's the morning. There's my trusty Euro hike. Oh man, I've done some camping in that thing. Bought for Glastonbury 99. Uh, last used in Day Venter in the Netherlands when I was camping on the way to Croatia. The only night I camped on that trip. It's getting a bit leaky now, so uh, I keep saying this will be its last camp. I think this actually might be it. Yeah, Giselle looking really shiny. Ready for Radwood. Well, here we are. We're at Radwood. We're actually in the press office. I'm stealing all the electricity. Giselle is over there. Uh, there's Eddie and Bernie just turning up in the Nissan Exa. We saw it Japan Classic Sunday. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I've seen someone riding around on the Sinclair C5 recording footage. They've got an arcade area. Really looking forward to it. Once the camera's got full of juice, we are going to go and record. So, uh, yeah, very exciting. Some amazing cars here. And some cars I think I've seen before and haven't seen for a very long time. But, uh, yeah, survived the night in the tent. Uh, actually really comfortable. Uh, ST1 just burbling away there. And, uh, yeah, it, I think maybe my tent is going to die because uh, even the dew was starting to seep through it it may have seen better days it might be finally time to retire it but yeah i'm going to run around and record the event well you join me on the drive home uh, that was an absolutely superb event radwood thank you um Haggerty insurance uh they've actually taken over the radwood brand uh, i'm not sure if they're doing that in america as well as here but uh, yeah that event going strength to strength i would say Look forward to more next year. I just love people wearing all the period correct attire. It's marvellous. I just have my pink shorts and horrible knees uh, to remind me of what the 80s felt like to me. Uh, but now we're pushing on home. Decided to go non motorway because I just cannot face the M4, M5, or M6. Either route kind of works. Uh, so we are um, yeah, going cross country. I'd love to share it with you, but uh, where the phone is at the moment, uh, and it's positioned primarily to act as a sat-nav, uh, it, it doesn't give you a very good view of the road. See? Rubbish. I've just realised I didn't review yesterday's campsite. That's probably because I didn't have the most positive experiences. Um, I find the overall vibe not as friendly as some we've been to. Uh, the campsite was Glebe Leisure near Vista. Very close, in fact. Very handy for Vista Heritage stuff. But uh, yeah, I just found. I've got one modern toilet block, which is ruined by having lots of spiders and cobwebs in it, and uh, showers with thermostatic mixer valves that are stuck on far too hot. Uh, you try to adjust the temperature, and the control is seized up. It must be a hard water area. Those thermostatic mixer valves don't like hard water. Uh, I should, should have perhaps used the other shower block, but it was very sort of knocked together and in a way that made you felt it might just knock itself apart. And the uh, helpful signings over the decking saying, warning, very slippy when wet. Why not fix the problem rather than put a sign up? I don't understand. And also got woken up twice in the night by a screaming child. Which I admit is not the campsite's fault, but uh, still that leaves you feeling a bit grumpy. So I guess you're a bit more sensitive to negative vibes. Still, it was twelve pounds for the night. Uh, no electric hookup, uh, no water on my pitch. It really was just a patch of grass. Well, once it was a patch of grass, the grass is all dead. So uh, yeah, not my favourite place. Not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but the overall vibe. Um, means it's probably not one I'll return to and I guess that's the beauty there are so many places interesting lane choice uh, so many places in the UK to camp but uh, yeah you can 
kind of pick and choose. Anyway, we're back in um, Wales now. I'm at Abergavenny after a somewhat torturous route. Uh, I thought I'd save time by cutting cross country. It's gone horribly wrong, viewers. It has not gone well at all. But uh, I think I'll end this one here. I've still got a couple of hours to go. Probably going to stop for food somewhere and then it's going to start getting too dark to shoot anyway. So thank you for watching. Uh, this little hub notes accompaniment to the Radwood experience. I'll see you in a future video. Bye! Good night, Giselle.